Hi, I'm Nick and in this video we'll be talking about apple cider vinegar and using it for treating a yeast infection. So can you use apple cider vinegar to get rid of a candida problem? The answer is yes, you certainly can use this vinegar to do just that. But you might want to add in some antifungal herbs to the vinegar to help create an even more effective douche or topical treatment and we'll talk about that more later on in this video. The primary reason apple cider vinegar works to get rid of a yeast infection is due to the acid in it known as acetic acid. Now acetic acid is created when bacteria in alcoholic beverages start to metabolize the alcohol and transform it into acid. So all vinegars contain acetic acid. Now, there's likely not much difference between an apple cider vinegar and a white vinegar. And to be honest, you don't really need apple cider vinegar. Apple cider vinegar will work about as well as any other vinegar. The real determinant in how well a vinegar will work to treat a yeast infection is how much acetic acid is in it. Now, you don't want so much that it burns you, but most Grocery store vinegars will contain a safe amount of acetic acid and you can start using it to get rid of a yeast infection. But you may want to try watering down your vinegar at first because perhaps 100% concentration of vinegar may burn your skin. So try using lower concentrations, just mix it in with some water at first and if you don't see any adverse results you can keep increasing the amount of vinegar you use topically or in the vagina as a douche. So let's take a look at some of the research done uh, on vinegar and how it works to get rid of candida. A 2014 study published in Biomed Research International looked at how well vinegar could get rid of candida off of two different materials commonly used in dentures. The study allowed candida albicans to grow on these two different substances and then soak them for 10 minutes in 100% vinegar and also in just 50% vinegar. The study found that 100% vinegar totally wiped out the candida on these services and 50% vinegar did a very good job and nearly eliminated it but there was still some candida left uh, from using the 50% concentration. Now vinegar may also help to prevent candida from attaching and adhering to various sites in the human body that it's colonizing. This can possibly be inferred from some research that shows Vinegar was very good at stopping candida from attaching to various substances. A 2012 study published in the June Dishapur Journal of Microbiology looked at just this. The study grew candida on acrylic resin plates and allowed the candida to develop and form a biofilm on these plates before exposing it to the vinegar. The plates were then soaked in 10% vinegar for eight hours. And after this soaking process, the study found that all the candida had been removed from the plates using just a 10% concentration of vinegar. Now, acetic acid in vinegar can cause candida to rapidly die due to a cellular function that triggers such a response in the candida cells. A 2008 study published in Molecular Biology of the Cell demonstrated just this. The study found that a sufficiently acidic environment would trigger programmed cell death in candida. And the acetic acid, of course, in vinegar will be acidic enough at strong enough concentrations to start triggering this response from candida and cause the yeast to apparently self-destruct. So let's talk about the best way to use apple cider vinegar to get rid of candida. Whether you're using a vinegar as a douche or a topical treatment, the most important factor is going to be, as we mentioned, the strength of the vinegar and the amount of acetic acid in that vinegar. But you can also add in various antifungal herbs 
to your vinegar to help increase its yeast fighting power. Two common household herbs you could use to do this include whole dried cloves and cinnamon sticks. Now you can just take your vinegar, apple cider vinegar or any other type of vinegar, and simmer cinnamon sticks and whole cloves in the vinegar for about 30 minutes, allow the mixture to cool, and then strain out the herbs. You can then use this vinegar topically or as a douche, and it should, because of the addition of the plant phytochemicals that can kill off yeast, be much better at stopping a yeast infection than just plain old ordinary vinegar would be by itself. Well, for more information on antifungal herbs or even essential oils to use with your vinegar, you can find out a lot of information about these natural items on Candida Hub. So if you have some time, you may want to check them out and get familiar with the research that validates these herbs and essential oils as potent yeast infection fighting items. For more information about this topic, you can check out the article on Candida Hub. The link is just below in the description. You'll find more information related to apple cider vinegar and its use as an antifungal. And also on Candida Hub, you can find out about a natural 12-hour solution for yeast infections that will permanently stop yeast infections from ever coming back. So if you've had recurrent yeast infections, this could save you a lot of time and money because you'll never have to buy an over-the-counter or prescription antifungal again using this treatment. Well, hey, thank you so much for watching. I hope this video answered your questions and hope you get better very soon. See you later, guys.